Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, keeping your chickens, your goats, rabbits, pigs all warm in the winter with no electricity. Uh, I've kind of went all over this before with our goats. Uh, we're going to touch on it a, a little bit again. Uh, it's supposed to be single digits uh, come Monday, it's Saturday right now. We're going to start throwing a bunch of straw out. Uh, so we we can run electric to our barn. Uh, it's kind of a long distance, but we're going to do this without electricity. I mean, most people or everybody don't have access to electricity to get to their animals. So we're going to do this with no electricity. Uh, we're going to show you how to do that and stick around. So like I said, the main ingredient is gonna be straw, bunches and bunches of straw. Uh, you're gonna throw that in your barn. You're gonna prevent uh, wind from hitting your animals directly. Uh, give them a spot to where they can get out of the wind uh, to be able to stay dry. So in our barn, we've kind of done that uh, temporary. Uh, our pigs, they're already in a draft free area. Uh, so they're not going to have any issues. Uh, we're going to show you before and after we throw all the straw in there. It's kind of been warmer here lately. So they've just been eating most of their straw or hay uh, that we've been throwing in there. But they've also got, had uh, beddings that they've put down. Uh, we're going to show you that here in just a few seconds and uh, show you it after the straw that we've thrown in. So if you got anybody like this that likes to eat straw, so I kind of threw, threw this straw down on the ground. Uh, it's been raining, uh, as you can tell, it's got kind of wet. Uh, but we're gonna throw this other little nesting box in here for the time being. We're gonna throw some of that straw inside of that box. Uh, they can get up into it if they needed to be and uh, get out of the wind. Uh, this has got a cover on it so they won't get wet. That's gonna help them to stay warm. They're gonna stay warm anyways because they're fur covered. Uh, the goats, I don't really worry about them. They're probably gonna stay warm too. Uh, but we're gonna put this other nesting box in here just to make sure that they can get out of the wind if they needed to. So now that I've got the straw or the other little, now that I've got the other nesting box in here, we're just gonna fill these boxes up with straw. Uh, if they need to get in to these, they're gonna be able to spread this around, pat it down the way that they really like it to be. And I'm not really gonna worry much about them either. Now we done threw probably about a half of a bell of straw in this. Well, we're probably gonna fill it on up uh, just to make sure that they're gonna be safe. Uh, they're over there eating. They've got a little bit of hair, but I'm still gonna make sure that they're gonna be warm. Now the quail, I've kind of got a spot uh, from last year that is blocked off from the wind. I'm gonna throw some straw on the bottom to keep wind from being able to come up from the bottom. They should be all right too. Uh, I'm gonna take, and this one over here has got a box in it. I'm gonna fill that box there with straw, uh, put straw along the bottom. Uh, just to keep the wind from coming up through the bottle, just to make sure that there's no wind going in there. And should keep them safe. Now that we've used two of our bells, we're gonna grab a third bell, put in with uh, Billy's shelter. Uh, we've got him separated a little bit because we don't want him peeing all in the new barn and uh, making it stink. So we got him separated. He's got his own uh, little shelter back here. Uh, we're gonna fill it up with some hay he's, or some straw and he's gonna be safe from the wind. 
because it's blocked too. His shelter's full of straw now and somebody's in here deciding she wants to eat it too. So, wind blocked, straw down, and ready to go. So now that I'm heading towards work, I forgot to mention anything about the chickens. Uh, the chickens are gonna be able to survive even down into the uh, single digits or negative degrees uh, with just having a draft-free place. So my chickens have a draft-free place. Uh, the west side of the chicken coop is blocked and that's where most of the wind comes in that direction. So they're gonna be uh, protected by that wall throughout the night. Uh, most of the time, if they're moving around, they're gonna be able to survive uh, just by their body temperature. And even at night, they're gonna be able to create their own heat. And uh, they're, they're built like an oven, so they're gonna create a bunch of heat and then be able to survive just on a roosting bar. Straw, straw, straw. Uh, Draft-free area for all of these. And water, uh, you're gonna have to come out. You're gonna have to uh, come out, empty their dishes, whatever you've got. Uh, during the winter, I like to use like old butter bowls that uh, I get normally a couple weeks before winter time or whatever. Uh, we'll fill them up. Uh, the square ones, they're a little easier to uh, dump the water out and be able to refill uh, as you needed. Uh, so, seven degrees weather coming. It's going to be cold. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. See you on the next video.